Hello, Floss Tube. This is Angie um, Meyer. My Instagram name is Bub My B U B M I E. I hope to get through this video. This is my fourth try. Luckily, I didn't get too far in before I stopped. Um, I closed captioned my last video, and that's quite an endeavor to do, but I'm happy to do it. I realize that I cover my mouth a lot when I'm showing things, and I realize that I do not speak in complete sentences all of the time. And I also say so, and, and um. I think those were the three that I say quite a lot. And I also don't speak in full sentences a lot. So that's my goal for today. Hopefully I can do all of that. It um, we didn't have school today. It was a gorgeous day here in central Illinois. It was 85 degrees out and sunny. I was tempted to turn on the air, but I didn't because now it's just gorgeous out. So let's get started. So tonight I finished, I didn't put the felt on my back yet. I finished October. I finished October without my face hidden. Um, this cute little hedgehog. Or is he a porcupine? I think he's a hedgehog. Hedgehog and a snail. He's gonna go get hung up in my kitchen. I'm very excited to have that done. The next one that we'll be getting done is November. It's a beautiful, oops, it's a beautiful peacock. Very excited to get that started. Hopefully I'll get it done before October 8th. I had it done before October 8th, but I just finished it today, fully finished it. So I'm excited to get that started. I've been working on, I'm not in any order, it's just on the order I've laid it on my table here, so please don't mind me. I've been working on, since I finished that, this, I'm working on this adorable cat. Um, but I'm gonna do some things a little bit different, please don't mind my thread. Here's where I've gotten so far. And instead of doing, instead of doing the pumpkin and those bats, I think because I have the button of the month club and I haven't been doing anything, I have not used one button, which is silly because how many months in am I? I have these bats that I think will stitch on there very nicely and I also have this pumpkin we'll see I might I'll have to look to see if I have a smaller pumpkin I don't know how how big that how high up that cat's face is going to be I'll have to look that up but that's my plan so we'll see thought it would that way I'll have it done by how before Halloween so I'm going to work on that I finished, I don't remember if I showed you this, sorry, I don't remember if I showed you this in the last video. Uh, this is, this, this is going to be my piece for the Midwest Cross Stitchers Exchange. I haven't decided how I'm going to finish it yet. I can't decide if I want to do a flat fold and I found these awesome easels at I got this at Meyer, the Meyer store, M-E-I-J-E-R. I don't own the Meyer store. Um, you know, to go on there, or if I should make it into a pillow filled with walnut. So we'll see what the mood strikes me. Um, I have not going in any special order, but I, I'm from Northwest Indiana. That's where I grew up. And I got a, a message one day saying, hey, can I have your address? I said, sure. And a gal up there, I'm gonna cheat because my memory went blank. Belinda, who's Hoosier, Hoosier Stitcher, um, sent me a, a small package just to say thanks for doing floss tube. And it was so sweet. She sent me, she was like right up my alley. This adorable shirt, which on a Monday I could wear this. I could wear it any day. 
this cute Snoopy, and this adorable Snoopy. I have all my Halloween Snoopies. They all came out today, so they're downstairs on the shelf in the family room. And I think I'm going to use this to uh, chart my stitching progress. Oh my gosh, it goes all the way through. Oh my gosh, it goes all the way to 2020. So excited about that. So that was very nice. And then a Lizzie Kate that I didn't have. It's the Mary String. I've never had one of those. I've been watching everybody stitch them and I've never had one. So thank you so much to Belinda. It was so sweet of you. So sweet. Um, as long as we're talking about Snoopy, I got out all my Halloween decorations because I'm a purist. I don't, I do each, each um, season as it happens. So these came out today. My girlfriend Mary got me the t-shirt. I have this t-shirt with this on it. And then this one, it's the Great Pumpkin. So I'm showing you two this time and hopefully I'll make one at the end of the month and I'll show you the other two. I got them all out today and maybe I'll take a video and show you all my Halloween decorations and all my Snoopy decorations because there's a lot of Snoopy Halloween. Oh, before I forget, because I forgot the last video. So some, a couple people said they saw this. So this is, this is my mother, another Afghan by my mother-in-law. I've got two to show you this time. Did I show this one already? I don't remember, but I'm showing it again because I love it because she's so sweet. There's that one, it's still sitting there. And then this is the first afghan, I'm sitting on it, that she ever made for me. I got it for Christmas. And I love pink. I had two brothers growing up, so all the pink I could get. She alternated every, every fourth band has pink in it. And when she did the fringe, she did it all in pink. So, my mother-in-law is a very special lady. And next time I have more. Okay, oh, I just got shorter. I needed that. Hang on a second. <laughs> That's better. Oh, the sun's coming right there. Okay, so then I participated in the Midwest Cross Stitchers Exchange. And... I, everybody's been talking about their unicorns. You know what? I don't have a unicorn piece. I would like to stitch, what's that? That lady, that uh, Lady Liberty. I would love to stitch that if I got my hands on it, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like pay an arm and a leg for it and I'm not gonna search for it. But I really, I have so much, I have so much. And I watch you guys and I go, oh my gosh, there's so much more. There's so much crazy more that I would love to have. I know my ear, my eyes are totally doing this wonky thing. I don't know why I have to look at over there. I'm trying to look at the Snoopy thing behind me so that I look like I'm looking at you. I don't know what my deal is, sorry. But anyways, my wonderful person was June. She, I got June. And this is what she sent me. I picked Halloween as my, oh, where'd my, oh, here's, here's the stitched piece that June made me. And she made it, I think she said with her daughter's help, into a flat fold. Isn't that pretty? So, very excited about that. And then she got me this Bent Creek, it's called find your way to Halloween and got me the floss the flosses and the fabric and hands-on design so very very excited about that it's a lovely gift oh 
And then she knows I love Snoopy. She got me a wintertime Snoopy needle minder. At Christmas. It's Christmas. Yep. His, his doghouse is all lit up. And a scissor fob. Isn't that beautiful? And a little frogging needle with that same thing in there. Frogging needle. So thank you so much, June. This is fabulous. And June's going to be in Minnesota. So um, I have some haul to share. I got the two farmhouse Christmases. I have not yet decided how I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do them individual. That's how I think I'm going to do it. I've just decided I'm going to do it individual. And then I think it was, was it Minnie Gray? Was it you, Minnie? I don't know. Somebody showed this. Somebody showed this. And... I jumped right on one, two, three stitch and had to have it. They were out, but then they let me know that they had more. It's called Sampler of Bees by the City Stitcher. My my maiden name starts with a B, so how cool was that? But I love that. And then I don't think I showed this. This is the Quaker Halloweens by the Work Basket. And if I remember right, when I was in Ohio at Keepsakes, the model was upside down. They stitched it so the bat is hanging upside down. And they stitched, they, they did it, um, it's in a form like this. Not, not exactly like that. I'd ha I wish I took a picture of it, but I just think that's really cool. So what am I going to be working on? I'm going to finish my cat and then Thanksgiving's coming. I'll have to fin do November, the Snowflower Diaries, November. I have Bent Creek's Uber Turkey and then I'm going to work on Mr. and Mrs. Delicious. This is Lindy Stitches. Go get it. It's fabulous. I can't wait to work on it. I cannot wait to work on it. Um, and then I'm also going to start working on some ornaments to make some ornaments, Christmas ornaments. But I have some other haul to share with you. Check out, check out my doll bowl. Now I do, I think that the man who was selling these at the third Sunday market, I do believe that he made this. This is an antique because who would want to make dough with a hole in your bowl but it was only $15 and I believe it was made in the USA and I really like it and then I don't think I showed you guys when I went to Indiana I found this baby and it's a frame look you pop this out I thought this would be cool with a patriot uh, this would be cool with a patriotic piece inside here And today I went out um, I went out thrifting so my grandmother made my grandmother did this she didn't make this one but my grandmother would do this where she would take a piece of linen and she would crochet this is with very very fine thread and a very small crochet needle and my grandma made doilies some like this but I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, I could totally stitch on there. I won't stitch on one of my grandma's pieces because I just won't. But this was marked $1.59 and it was 75% off. But I got this one and I got this one. So I just have to, I have to decide what do I want to stitch on there. I thought that was really pretty. And then I found three of these. This is with a this is with a thicker yarn, a thicker thread, but they did it with Ada. This is Ada. And I just thought I just thought that there'd be something cool that we could do with this. So I got three of them. I'm very excited. 
And then I found a Jiffy frame. I wonder how old this is. I don't know that I've seen one recently. Oh, 1977, holy cow. But it's a wood frame. So. And then my favorite thing that I found. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is just a gorgeous, gorgeous red truck. The wheels, the, uh, the wheels roll. Um, I've been looking for something like this. It's not an antique. I got this at, uh, we have a store here called Jeffrey Allen, and that is where I got it at. And I'm thrilled. I'm, it's gonna sit on my hearth in front of my fireplace, and I'm gonna put my little sewing tchotchkes in it, so I'm super excited, super duper excited about that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I have to share. It's kind of a quick video, isn't it? But hey, it's better than nothing. Better than a stick in, a, a stick in your eye. That's what my mother-in-law would say. I hope everybody's good. I hope you're all stitching like crazy. I'm excited to uh, go see some more friends in a couple, next week. Next week I'm gonna go see friends. So I'm excited about that. I can't wait. I hope all of you are well and all of you are stitching and having fun and enjoying this fall weather. It's been a little crazy. Our leaves are not like they should be for October 8th. They should be red and orange and they're not. They're still very green because we just haven't had the cold weather. But that's okay. It'll come. It will come. So everybody have a good day and a good night and a great week and uh, we'll see you in a couple weeks. And as my mother-in-law says, keep stitching until your fingers can't hold the needle. Bye.